Hello, I'm Dr. Levon Hayrapetyan, a business professor at Houston Baptist University. In this video tutorial, uh, I will demonstrate how to do text mining. Text like numerical data may contain information that can help solve problems and lead to better decisions. Text mining, when we say text mining, it is a the process of extracting useful information from text data. The text data uh, is often uh, referred uh, to as unstructured data because it is uh, raw in raw form and it cannot be st stored in traditional tables with rows and columns. Audio and video data are also examples of unstructured data. Data mining with text uh, data is more challenging than data mining with traditional numerical data uh, because it requires more pre-processing to convert the text to format, format amenable for analysis. However, uh, once the text data has been converted to numerical data, the analysis methods uh, which we already learned, such as hierarchical clustering, k-means clustering, and so on, they can be successfully used with that converted numerical data. So what, what I will demonstrate now is on the example which is discussed in PowerPoint presentation as well, uh, I will demonstrate how we can do test, uh, text mining uh, using the data from triad uh, airline company. So this is the comments by customers. You will find all details about this problem and many, many uh, explanations uh, in, in, in my PowerPoint presentations. So what I will do, I will just show the process, the mechanics, how you do, how you do text mining. So let me click inside of my data, as always we did. We, then we go to data mining. Now we will we'll want to do text mining. So we'll go to the text and then we have to provide lots of information. As always, we start with the data range to make sure that data range is correct. In our case, it's correct from A1 till A11. Then first row, first row contains header, uh, headers, which is correct. That's why it's checked. So the only variable we have in here is this, this variable comments. All of them are comments. So I'll select this variable and click here. Now we are done with this screen. We'll click next. So in the next, we will, most uh, default choices will be remain. I'll just change some of them. So we'll leave this as it is. We'll leave this to, so he, here the, the Filtering, I will just filter more. I'll put 20% less than, uh, remove those are less than 20% and more than 90%. And I will give a uh, maximum length 20. And let's move to the next one. Here we will select presence absence form. When you study PowerPoint presentations, you will understand what's the essence of presence absence form, but simply it means just oh, you will use zeros and ones, zero meaning that that word or term is not part in, of the text and one is meaning that it is. Then I'll uncheck this, this is beyond the scope of this course. Then I will move to the next screen. Here I will leave term document and then most frequently I'll leave, let's reduce, let's just use seven terms and show document summary. So everything is, looks good. We'll click finish. And we did the first step of text mining, which is pre-processing the text and converting it into numerical format. Let's see what we have here. <clears throat> These explanations are on the slide as well. So term count information, what you can find from here. It says that we have, there are 
84, all those 10 documents contain 84 terms, total number of terms in all documents is 84. Then it was filtered to 19. Remember, we put filter 20% less, 90% more. Then out of, so this, this filter, this 9% is, is, this is the percentage which remains after the filtering. And seven means that out of this 19, seven were used uh, to uh, construct the term document matrix. That term document matrix is that is present absence matrix with zeros and ones. What we see in here is like for each document, and we have 10 documents, remember, for each document, it just specifies how many, many characteristics are in that document and how many terms are in that document, some stati statistical information. Now, if we switch to the next tab, text mining TMD tab, this is where the term uh, document matrix is located. And here you can see I have the same 10 documents. Remember, we selected seven uh, most frequently repeated items, and these are my seven. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. And this one means that horrible is a word, the ho or term horrible was used in the first document, it was in use in, in this document, and so on. Zero means right, uh, this, let, let's say, recline, it's not used in the first document. And uh, here, finally, we have <clears throat> how many <clears throat> frequency of those terms uh, in, in the collection in the documents. So four times are repeat this flight, the word flight was repeated, four times the word seat was repeated, and so on. So basically the most, <clears throat> And, excuse me, the most important part which we got from this text, um, text mining is we converted text into this numerical table. It's called term document matrix. As soon as we can convert text into uh, term document matrix, uh, then we can use uh, different uh, met method of analysis which we use with numerical data, such as hierarchical clustering, k-means clustering, and so on. Now, I will, what I will do, I'll do hierarchical clustering with this data. We already know how to do hierarchical clustering. We did, I have, I had several videos on that. I will click inside of the data set. We'll go to the data mining cluster, click, Select hierarchical clustering. Now, let's check that the data set is correct. C12, which is this, till J22, correct. Now we have to specify uh, which variables will be used for clustering. We will use all variables, except document ID, which in fact it's not a variable, it's just um, label. So I will select all of them. By the way, if you want to select more than one, you just can uh, press control key and click as many as you want, and then click this arrow. So variables are selected. Data type is raw data, which is correct. So we're done with this page. Uh, dialog box, now we'll move to next one. Normalization, we don't need any normalization because these are just zeros and ones. Euclidean distance actually obviously is not the best way to measure the similarity. When there are zeros and ones, either we use matching coefficients or Jacquard's coefficients. So I will use Jacquard coefficient. And then as a clustering method, let's, let's use group average linkage. And finally, the last dialog box, we'll, we check that we want to see the dendrogram, maximum level is 10. So let's have three clusters. And we, are, we provided all necessary information. We'll click Finish, and Analytics Solver did cluster analysis, and the results are here. So the results are, this is the output, and here you can see how many, these are the clustering stages. For example, during the first stage, uh, ob observations or documents three and seven would merge with 
and they, seem, they, they were identical, which means distance was zero. The new, one, the new cluster is called, uh, renamed uh, again as tree, and so on. So we discussed this when we studied cluster analysis hierarchical. So clusters, these are the clusters which uh, is created. As you remember, if we want to see better which, which uh, record belongs to which cluster, we can highlight, go to the data, and sort, sort according to the cluster, from the smallest to the largest. And as we can he, see that I have this three clusters, in three uh, documents in one cluster, another three, in, four in this cluster, and three in this cluster. So detailed, um, when you open the solution, there is a solution pass file posted, I add it, I, I wrote here detailed description of these clusters. If we want to see the dendrogram, right now remember when you click on dendrogram and you don't see it, then you have to go and click data mining and then click model and then wait a little bit and dendrogram will pop up. And this is the dendrogram. And uh, We'll talk about this. Basically, that's what we did today. Let me summarize what we did today. So I showed you how we can do text mining. And text mining is more challenging than numerical data mining because it's unstructured data. Unstructured meaning you cannot put immediately just directly into tables with rows and columns. But there are several ways how you can convert that unstructured data into, into tables. And we'll learn just how we can do that. <clears throat> and we use, anal <clears throat> excuse me, we used analytic solver to pre-process text data into, into matrix with um, presence, absence matrix or with zeros and ones. And then we, as, as soon as we have data, numerical data, we can do, different types of analysis, which we already learned with, uh, with numbers such as hierarchical clustering, k-means clustering, and so on. So, so this concludes today's lecture. Have a nice day. Bye-bye.